On today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to paint your center console. And you can do this inside your car or outside your car. We removed this center console out of a Fox body because it was broken. And I made a video on repairing it by Plasky Welding. If you want to see that video, I'll link it down into the description. So what you will need is some Duplicolor vinyl and fabric. Now you can use adhesion promoter with this, but this stuff has got adhesion promoter built in. So, you know... It's up to you, but I'm just going to be using this stuff today, and this is the color I'm using. You will also need a, a scotch bright pad. You can get this at your auto parts store, and uh, we're going to be using it to scuff the plastic down. To clean your plastic, I just use spray away grass cleaner, and uh, it works out great. So uh, let's just jump into it. So what you want to do is take your scotch bright, go over everything. It will dinge out, and you can use uh don just liquid soap and uh stuff while you're doing this and this will clean it extremely good but you gotta wait for it to dry this dash i don't really care too much for so i probably won't even use it i'm just doing it to give you all a video and demonstrating how you can do it yourself but they tons of videos of me painting the interior on my channel just check out my duplicolor playlist so let's go ahead and scuff this down and then we uh Spray away it, clean it off, and get ready to go. Once you get everything pretty well scotched by it, it will dinge the color out some. Take your spray away, spray this down very good, and just give it a good once over, twice over, you know. Just get it extremely clean. This stuff will remove a lot of, uh, you know, buildup and gunk. And if you use a wax and grease remover, if it's too, uh, you know, if it's too strong, it'll soak into the plastic and cause your paint adhesion problems. So use something light, like spray away. So now that we got this pretty well sprayed off and scuffed and cleaned, extremely good. We are pretty well getting ready to uh, apply a vinyl and fabric spray, but you need to give it a good dry time. You don't want no uh, leftover spray away or non dish wick or whatever you use to clean your panel off with to. Uh, be uh hidden somewhere when you go spray it hit it run down the side of the console or something to make it look bad so just give it time to dry and then we get ready to spray so let's get to spraying shake the can up read your instructions but what i like to do is a uh, light coat you do not want to put this stuff on like a uh, regular spray paint in heavy coats because uh it's kind of a, a hybrid paint it kind of ain't actually a paint and if you put it on heavy it is definitely going to peel so you want to do it in light coats it might take you three or four light coats to get this whole thing covered but you don't want to put heavy wet coats on this so you want to stay about six inches away from your panel when you do this and just mist the coats on So that's the first coat. It looks great. Uh, the second coat, you want to focus more on your edges and also do a light coat on. And uh, before you apply your second coat, give us at least 10 to 15 minutes flash time, depending on your humidity, you know, your flash times is. And do not spray this in direct sunlight because uh, that also make it cure too fast and the adhesion will not take. So it's been 15 minutes. Let's go ahead and concentrate on our edges. Make sure we get the edges good and do a light coat on this also. Now I'm going to go on and do the other side, but as you can see, two coats is looking great. So. I go ahead and spray the third coat after this flashes about 15 minutes and uh, we see what it looks like after it's all done because three coats is all it's going to take. So this is the console after about 30 minutes of drying after the final coat. And you want to give us about 24 hours before you actually handle it and install it. You want everything to pretty well dry good and have no wet spots. Maybe you got a little heavy in a spot it might not dry as fast as the other spots. So let's go take a close up of it. So this is the panel guys, 
you can still see the texture because we didn't pound the paint on we kind of just uh used a adhesion promoter in a light coat fashion and uh that makes it adhere better and also makes it keep that factory texture so it don't look fake and painted but all in all i'm very happy how this console uh turned out and you know basically if you're doing this inside your car just mask the carpet off and everything you don't want painted but uh if you take it out and paint it like this it's a whole bunch easier than doing it in the car less masking and uh also you can get to every spot extremely well so i recommend taking your console out to paint it but you can do it inside your car i even painted dashes inside cars before plenty of videos as i said before about this subject and showing you how to paint stuff like dashes and so on on my channel so check it out so i'm going to let this dry a few hours then i'm going to move it inside the garage because it's outside right now and i don't want do or it's fixing the rain anyway to get on this so i hope you found this how to paint your center console video helpful if you did be sure to drop a like because it helps other people find this video and lets me know you enjoyed watching this content and uh, leave a comment i enjoy hearing from everyone and subscribe if you haven't already thanks for watching this video